Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fast Lane Car, and behind me, two vehicles that compete directly with each other. Two brand new family crossovers, the 2018 Chevy Traverse and the 2018 VW Atlas, both three rows, both V6s. Check out this VR6. Yes, it's actually a VR6. It's a narrow angle V6. Puts out 276 horsepower and 266 pound-feet of torque. Now, here's the cool part about it. First of all, it's hooked up to an eight-speed automatic transmission and you have the option front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. You can also get a two-liter turbo. Same with the Traverse. This is a 3.6 liter V6, so is that one. You can get a two-liter turbo on this. You can get a two-liter turbo on that. It's actually remarkable how similar these two vehicles are. I have to say, I really like the Atlas interior. It just has, you know, kind of this silver trim mm -hmm. with kind of this faux wood. And the overall layout of the buttons just feels a little bit more premium to me. Yeah, it's interesting. They both have a similar setup, though, with their interiors because they both have a rotating knob. Yep, terrain select modes, drive modes, snow modes, all that stuff. The Atlas has an LCD IP and it's fairly high tech, it's modern, and very clear to look at. And best of all, it has a really big center screen for navigation. Yes, indeed. Also a 3.6 liter V6 under the hood of the Traverse, but a lot more horsepower, 310, but same amount of torque, 266 pound-feet of torque. However, more gears, nine-speed automatic, and slightly better fuel economy than in the Atlas. Both of these family crossovers are loaded with technology, mm -hmm. loaded with safety features. Oh yeah. I mean, this Traverse, this is a premier model, which uh -huh. is not top of the line, but fairly well optioned. I do like the design of the interior, but I like the feel of the Volkswagen interior a little bit more. You know where I am? I actually like the v Atlas interior design and feel a little bit more, but the seats and the Traverse feel a little bit better to me. Yeah, they're, they're pretty squishy and comfortable. And the third row is nicer for taller people. It's more usable space. In order to hold a family more than five, you need to have an accessible third row seat. Now, both of these vehicles are known for having roomy third row seats. Andre is going to demonstrate. Because I'm 6'2", and um, I also want to demonstrate how the seats work. Of course, uh, in the Traverse here, we have a captain chair's third row. These approximately have the same amount of third row legroom, about 33 and a half inches. Ooh. <laughs> How you doing out there, buddy? Actually, um, I don't have quite enough legroom in this. Is there a way to move this forward? Oh, this is great. Check this out, guys. I have plenty of headroom and plenty of legroom with the second row pulled up a little bit and uh, really comfortable back here, actually. Now, granted, the Volkswagen Tig 1 does have an available third row seat, but this is a vehicle that was specifically built for this country in this size category with a third row seat. Hey, similar action on the seat, which is very useful. You know what? I have a little bit less headroom, it feels like, but the knee room is just about the same as in the Traverse. So I would give a slight advantage to the Traverse. It's kind of a weird mix here because I think the interior of the Traverse is a little bit nicer than the Volkswagen's. But I'm sorry, I think that the Volkswagen has a much more manly stance. It feels bigger, even though it's not. With the Chevy, I think that the front end doesn't really remind me of the styling of anywhere else on the vehicle. It almost looks like they wanted it to look a little bit like a Camaro. Not what I would advise when you have a family hauler. By the way, the all-wheel drive system in the Atlas is around 800 bucks. Mm -hmm. If you wanted all-wheel drive in the Traverse, you have to pay $2,800 to get that system. That is a lot more dope. One final point I want to make. I was just looking at sales numbers. Uh -huh. And you know, body and frame truck based SUVs, their sales are waning a little bit down um, compared to last year. And I think it has to do with these three row crossover based SUVs. 
because they're more comfortable for people. Mm -hmm. When you're talking about like a Tahoe, um, you're a little bit more cramped, even though that's a large SUV as well. Well, because it has to sit on top of a frame. Yes. And this vehicle, it's basically a car. Same with the Traverse. They're cars, stretched, but they are cars. And because of that, they have a dynamic of driving a car. They feel like you're driving a car. They're much easier to park in my mind. They're easier to get in and out of too, because the seats are almost perfectly at butt level for certain people. Oh yeah. And the only reason to get a truck-based SUV is if you want to tow. Realistically, yeah. If you it, really want to tow or if you want to have four low, four-wheel drive and, system. And seriously go off-road. Yeah, right, right. those are the reasons to get the full-size uh, truck-based SUV. Okay, Andre, on the count of three, we're going to start this race. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh no, you oh, won. Oh, I won. <laughs> oh no. You want to do one more close? But I won something else. I have 23 cubic feet of cargo room behind the third row. Yeah, I think I have 20 cubic feet, right? 20.6. 20.6 cubic feet. You have more, and actually your cargo space altogether is more than the Atlas. Okay, closing? Yeah, ready on the count of three? One, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. Eins, zwei, drei. You know, I, I think that there's a, the biggest difference between these two vehicles yes. is the way they feel when you drive them. The Atlas feels a little bit trekkier, surprisingly. It has a little bit more of an upright feel to it. And more direct, maybe? Yeah, yeah. More direct. This feels more like a wagon to me. Yeah, and actually, unless you look in the rear view mirror, this feels like a smaller vehicle because they've actually made it a lot lighter. I mean, completely redesigned it. Which would explain why, one of the reasons why it gets better uh, gas mileage, right? Yes. But here's another thing. Um, do you have this in your Atlas? Oh, for God's sakes. No, See, I flip I don't. a button yeah. and I can actually view my rear view mirror. I actually camera. like that a lot. Uh, we remember uh, the first time we saw that was in a Cadillac that we had. Yep. Andre and I have been going back and forth about the fact that these vehicles are really closely matched. Which one would you take? Ooh, this is a close call. I've been a VW owner for a very long time. I have a VW Golf from 2002, so I'm a bit of a fan, but I'm gonna have to go with the Traverse. Now, why would you go with the Traverse? Well, it just has more usable interior volume, better feeling seats, in my opinion, and a little bit more fuel economy for that long cross-country family trip. I like the way this vehicle looks, the Volkswagen. I like the way it feels inside. So I would stick with the Volkswagen. I've been very happy with the Atlas so far. For family guys, old dads like us, I think we've both found the ones that we would rather take home. Did you just call me old dad? I certainly did. Hey, for the Fastlane Car, this is Nathan. And Andre. And we'll catch you next time.